Hi everyone. <clears throat> what happened to my voice? There's kind of shadows because the sun's setting, but I wanted to, let me try to fix this lighting. Okay, I can deal with that. So I wanted to come on and kind of update you guys on where I am now in my summer. July has basically ended, camp ended, and it actually ended yesterday, but this video is gonna go up a couple weeks after. And I kind of just want to reflect on last month and how for me, it made like a huge impact. I've worked at summer camps before and I've never had as much of a, as a withdrawal with those camps as I am with the one that I recently worked at. And honestly, it could be because it's just a smaller group of kids, about like 30 kids. And usually the summer camps that I work at have like easily a hundred. So I think with the small group of kids that we had, I really got to know like each person and each child's face and like them as individuals rather than just, you know, a kid in second grade, a kid in first grade. So it was more meaningful because the camp was smaller. And also I think the staff was just really, really welcoming. Not saying that previously the camps I've worked at, the staff weren't welcoming, but it was just like different this year. And I don't really know how to explain. We kind of got like, like souvenirs from camp. So like this is, a group photo with all of us and then we kind of got just like a photo a uh, card kind of thing we had as many people as we could sign it so yeah this is a photo from ashley and i's class because we actually co-taught i will surely miss this place and all the people that i got to see every day and i'm really grateful that um, Ashley gave me the opportunity to work here. Like I said, when I first started out this job, for me, the things that I really, really enjoy in life are things that I don't plan. Like I never, I didn't plan to work this summer and I ended up really, really loving it. And honestly, like life just brings you on different adventures and journeys and you never know what's out there. I was really sad because I wanted to vlog uh, the last two days. The the second to last day, Ashley and I threw a party for our class because that was Ashley's last day. And um, just in case you don't know, Ashley is one of my friends from college. If you haven't watched our like Christmas vlog, you can click right here. I will leave a screenshot of the video so you can click it. So yeah, she's one of my closest friends in college. We threw a party for our class because it was her last day. So we bought like donuts, we bought chips, juice, um, lemonade. No, we bought lemonade, yeah. Lemonade and soda and we played mafia, black magic. Like we literally just played like so many things and it was so much fun and I really, really wanted to vlog it. But just because there was so much happening, I totally forgot. And then the last day I also forgot because there was just so much happening and I'm really, really sad. But we have this clip from Pajama Day when we were trying to take photos. So I'm gonna include it in this vlog right here. It's actually really cute. So just keep watching. Okay. We're gonna say Babylon 2021 first. Okay, one, two, three. Babylon 2021. Babylon 2021. So I went back to the church on Sunday to hang out with a couple of my coworkers and I got a card from one of my kids, which was really, really cute because guys, they, they remembered me. Like I was there and they really, really wanted me to jump on the trampoline with them, which it kind of touched my heart that I, you know, made an impact on them, that I wasn't just someone who stood in the front of the classroom and taught them how to multiply fractions, right? I was more than that. They felt comfortable enough to want to, I guess like play with me. So that was very touching on its own. But then like I got this card, look how cute it says, thank you. And then on the other side, it's like, thank you, Brittany teacher. She drew a picture of me, even though I don't have bangs, but it's all right, I'll take it. Honestly, I just, 
I love working with kids because they're so wholesome at this age. I wanted to talk about what else I'm doing. What is that sound? Okay, anyway, so I wanted to talk about what I'm doing for the rest of August. I, like, like I said, I've been bullet journaling or like setting up my bullet journal for the school year. So right now I'm on December and this is what the spread looks like for December. I am also reviewing slash studying for anatomy and phys because I'll be taking like the upper level portion for PA school. So I just wanted to brush up on, I don't know, all the bones that I have to know. I also forgot to mention this, but while I'm studying for my human anatomy and like reviewing for it, I'm actually using something called Anki and it's a program that a lot of med school students use. I know a lot of people in undergrad and like this is what I did. We used Quizlet, but I think Anki is a little bit less like visually pleasing and it just it gets the job done because you answer the questions and then you rate how easy or hard it was to answer and then if it's something that was really hard for you it will ask that question like more frequently so that it kind of tests you on what you know and what you don't know so um let me just show you what the actual program looks like all right so Anki's little like icon looks like this so right here is the interface when you first open it it like tells you what decks you have if you want to add any sorry if there's like wind sounds i have my window open right now once you've had a deck open meaning like a deck of flashcards, this right now is my anatomy one so i've tagged anatomy so that if i want to like look it up later i can just type that in and then all the cards in this deck will pop up i just wanted to show you guys that because I think a lot of people don't know about Anki, especially if you aren't going into the med field, but I'm pretty sure this works for anything. Like you can use it for engineering or um, law school, like whatever you're studying, I think this program would work for you. So I just wanted to give you guys that little bit of information. Hey guys, um, it's actually the next day. I went out with Ashley this morning to get pizza with one of our college friends and I totally forgot to vlog it. Like I literally just forget to vlog every time I go outside. Now I am doing my anatomy and phys review again. So I learned something new on Anki, which is to use closed flashcards. So basically when you see the flashcard, it has like a fill in the blank, like a dot, dot, dot part. And when you click it, It'll like have the answer come up so it's just a little different from just like the front and back flashcards. so i'm going to give you a short quick tutorial on how this goes today i'm reviewing chapters eight uh nine and ten so eight is connective tissue muscle tissue and neural tissue so there's three types of tissues that i want to go over today it's kind of a lot like 30 pages doesn't sound like a lot but it is because anatomy is very very dense so let me just show you how i make my flashcards okay so in my textbook i highlighted that connective tissue provides the body with structural support right so if i wanted to test my knowledge of what connective tissue does my text and forgive me because i will be typing with one hand but i would put like connective tissue provides the body with and then leave that blank right and then this would be structural support but then here comes the fun part so with closed flashcards you can do like this which means to like hide that portion so this is a example of what my closed flashcard looks like. So the striatum basale is connected to the basal lamina and contains two types of cells, stem cells and melanocytes. I don't really know the answer to this. Then I would check answer. Melanocytes is correct. So then that would say easy. And that's how I would do the closed flashcards. So I think it's better if I just do a video for you because 
every time I try to take a picture, it just looks strange because of the lighting. So here is the hair, right? He did like these front pieces, um, which I was like, huh? Cause I don't really know anything about highlights. The only thing is like, it just looks so orangey. And my sister said that that probably go away over time, but I think I'm just not used to it. <laughs> 